the question is, why are people developing dependency? Some people developing dependency, others aren't. What's the difference? For instance, as little as three days of an oral opioid into one year, one in 16 to one in 10 of patients are gonna be uh, dependent upon that drug. Why is that? When I was about um, 15, I started drinking. And then as I graduated from school, then it went into marijuana, the cocaine, the crack, the quaaludes. Um, so I was abuser. I was an abuser of drugs and alcohol. I have nine boys and two girls. My oldest son struggles with heroin, and he really struggled with that for about 10, 12 years, started with uh, opiates in school. And then I have another son who um, really struggled with marijuana and opiates. And then I have another son who also dabbles with the opiates. Each of them have been in and out of jail and in recovery. And I can say today, though, they are doing quite well. It's well known and well characterized in the already peer-reviewed literature that somewhere in the neighborhood of 50% of substance use disorders can be due to genetics. Come on. Life Kit Predict is a branded name of a very specific test. And it doesn't tell you definitively that you will develop a substance use disorder. What it does do is objectively allows classification of a patient based upon their genes alone as similar to a group with an opioid use disorder or not. What we're working through right now is how you go through and use that information to appropriately change clinical practice. When a loved one is using, it has such a stronghold on them. They walk away from family. They walk away from everything they know to continue to satisfy that craving, that craving that has a grip. Here I am, I was, I abused drugs. And when trouble came, I had the sense to, and, and the ability to say, okay, you know what? I gotta walk away from this. Enough, it's over, time to grow up. My sons can't do that. It is not my oldest son's desire to not have a full life. We truly believe in shared decision-making, allowing a patient and a provider to have a discussion where they can objectively understand what the differences in clinical pathways are. We think it would be interesting uh, to have the patient-provider discussion. Your genes are very similar to a group with an opioid use disorder. Let's talk about how that may affect you. Let's talk about how that may uh, decide different pathways here in your care. And we believe that this test is an objective classifier that should be there when that discussion's happening. If you could have that testing and then prescribe the right pain medication, I think it would be such a benefit to our society in this epidemic. The preceding program was presented by Battling Opioids, a project of Pennsylvania Public Media.